welcome back. Apparently, Surak hates me, because he decided that I should go to Cyber Peacock stage. Somebody else voted for Jet Stingray, which is similarly a gigantic pain in the ass. Not the level so much, because there's really nothing special to do in that level. But the boss isn't very pleasant. But because, like I said in the last video that nobody has seen yet, I am a glutton for punishment, so... I may as well take the challenges in that horrible, horrible, painful order. Okay, so here's our nice naked X. Look at all this stuff, and X. X has nothing. Let's change that a little, shall we? Alright, Cyber Peacock, if you don't remember, or if you didn't watch it, or... Oh, God, that's right, I... Went through this last time. So there's no reason to watch it again, but it's got to scroll through again because I didn't save after. Okay, uh, Cyber Peacock is a series of uh, little speedrun sections. You have obstacle. It's basically an obstacle course three times, and then the completely retarded uh, gravity switch puzzle. Now the first two of these, zero has or <laughs> zero only has two items here. X has. Th three, so I don't get the stupid one-up for completing the first one. It's uh, a little better overall. The first two shouldn't be any problem at all. The third is going to require all sorts of acrobatics that I'm probably going to fail at at least once, but I'll leave it in because it's at least entertaining. The boss... oh, damn it. Why are you coming in already? Uh, the boss isn't very easy himself, but... At least this time. Last time, he was the fruity little peacock, because, well, he had no chance against my, uh, Neon Gene. Well, I don't have Soul Body here, so he's going to have more than a chance, since I can't interrupt his aiming laser, but I have a dirty little secret that we'll get to. It's, uh, not at all like Trintragula's dirty little secret, and once again, if you haven't been watching that thread. It's over now. Uh, I'm ashamed of you. Go do that. And then come back here when you're done. Okay, hurry up. Okay, one down. That's That wasn't expected to be difficult. So, like I said heart tank in the first one. And I now have a little health missing because it doesn't give me the health. Thanks guys. You couldn't you couldn't spring for that couple pixels of life. Second one, this shouldn't be a problem either. You get to walk nice and calmly. Because dashing would screw up this pattern. There we go. That's how you get here, and you have to dash. Well, you don't have to dash as quite that much, but either way, it's cake. You basically take the first path every time, but you have to slow down a little at that one point, which is why I wall kicked. And energy tank. Right there. Okay. Already an energy tank right in the first level. This is uh, definitely a first for me. And, well, I'm going to need it. This is me stalling for time. Look at me stall for time as I jump back and forth. Yay! Yay! Alright. I know I can do this because I've done it. But... Repeating it... Repeating it is going to be very... Okay. Dash, jump, dash under, jump, dash under... Okay, wait for the first one to cross. Ah, oh, damn it. That could actually be it. Now it's definitely it. And I'm just gonna charge into these things. May as well die. Because I can't make it up there this Alright. So we have two options. You can either 
watch me kill time until I can get a B and start over. Because, once again, B is failure. Um, let's... Yeah, that's how you get past this one. You can jump over it. This one isn't quite as easy to do, so... I mean, you can do that when you... Oh my god! I might actually try something new this time. I think I see a shortcut. Now, it's not really a shortcut so much as it avoids some of the really hard stuff. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wow, this could be a first even for me. I did it without doing this. Uh, Alright. Pass over... I was probably supposed to dash there. And I screwed it up, but... Yeah, that's definitely faster, assuming I don't screw it up again. So, let's just kill ourselves. Sorry about the horrible repetition. I might actually just start over. I'm only about six minutes in, and up till now was pathetically easy. Uh, if I don't get through this time, I'm just going to start over. I don't know why I'm telling you this, because if I start over, you're never going to know. I think I'm... I think I'm... done fucked. Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> yes, you son of a bitch! Alright, now, what do we have here? The head parts. Head parts, if you remember, X1 you can break things. X2, it's it'll find hidden things. X3, it shows you the map with where the hidden stuff is, but only in the very beginning. You can't consult it again. X4, is this again the most useless piece of shit ever? Not at all. It is the most useful thing ever. It is almost game-breaking. Yep. Okay. By near Zero, it means absolutely zero. You do not use weapon energy ever, unless you charge. And I can't charge yet, because I don't have the arm parts. So, well, I don't have any weapons now, either. But I don't use weapon energy anymore. <laughs> Anywhere, any weapon, doesn't matter, except Nova Strike, which I similarly don't have. It's absolutely fantastic. I... And I'm pretty sure X5, even if you have this armor, you don't still have this ability, so it's another one of the things that Alia just can't fix. Uh, I don't actually remember, because it's been a while since I played X5, but BAM! There we go. I've got the helmet without soul body, you dirty sadists. It's actually really, really simple with soul body. Uh, so it's not worth going back just to show how to do it. So, okay, here we go. Gravity switch puzzle. Die. Okay, this... Down there, I still don't know where the buffer where it's not, where it won't kill you to touch that is, well, hurt you. I could, clearly didn't die. 
And yeah, these things, when they're sparking, actually hurt. Jump over, or back. So, yeah. Six-year-olds with uh, developmental disabilities could do that part. Alright. Um, I wish I had another life, so this dirty little secret would look a little better, but... Alright. I have to go through here to show off when the peacock fell eats me. But... And then I'm going to engage the horrible, horrible little secret that I did just because this level would, or this video would be even more monotonous if I didn't. I'll explain it when I get there. Okay. Yes, apparently my power level can go even above 9,000. It's limitless. No, it's very possible. Every I have all of these cool little helmet things and all sorts of armors that power me up by that were made by this guy who's been dead for a hundred years so he couldn't possibly have really thought about this many he couldn't even figure out how to make me work much less oh whatever and I can absorb what energy or weapons from basically anybody I ever fight so whatever yeah it's possible trust me Well, he's not a good person. You knew he was a maverick. That's why you came here. That's probably why he's doing it to you. See? He's just following orders. It's the Nuremberg defense. That's what I was talking about. Well, I guess it is quite simple, actually. <laughs> what? Apparently, X is also quite simple himself. Alright, and there's no way I'm winning this fight. But I'll show it. Yeah. This isn't even the hard part. It's when he starts using aiming laser that I start crying. Uh, okay, now those are the two main abilities. The aiming laser thing. What's I do, actually? There we go. Yeah, dodging this is almost impossible. So, what we're going to do... I'm not going to continue or stage select. I'm going to push F3. I'm going to push F3 again. You're kidding me, right? It's going to load that state. <sighs> do I... No, don't do this to me. I'm going to continue. I'm going to hit start. I'm going to push F3 some more. Oh my god. Oh. I had the wrong window actually selected. I'm going to push F3. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah. Since you sent me to this level that has a sub tank, I figured I'd fill it. I don't really need that much health, but. Unless he starts using aiming laser way, way too much. And it's not so much about the extra life as it is... I, uh, I just died once to get out of that level. Or to get here or something. But... Oh no, I wanted full health when I had the safe state. That's right. So there's no extra heart tanks here or anything, no, I got the helmet here straight off, just so you can see. There's no items here, it's exactly the same as it was, I just did it about, oh, 15 minutes ago now. Just so we wouldn't be here all day, 
Because nobody wants to watch me grind for life capsules. And nobody wants me to die here. Oh, shit. Okay, he's almost dead. I've done better. Oh god. Okay. So, it wasn't really quite a full life recharge that was necessary. Well, a little over half. Okay, so, we've got one down. I didn't cheat too badly. I got all of the items without uh, soul body because you guys love to torture me. I'm apparently uploading again. What? Oh, never mind. Okay, so aiming laser. The first ability. It's one of the better abilities. A lot of the things in this game aren't really weapon-like for X. They're uh, kind of abilities that help movement and such. I think I'm really only thinking of one that's complete garbage as a weapon. This one's pretty good. Uh, okay, so you get a cursor. It moves up and down in a... Uh, half circle in front of your body. Then you can lock on to up to three of them. Yes, attacks enemy with the aiming laser. That's a great description. Uh, you move it up and down, and it when you lock on to three of them, you don't have to stay on them. You don't even have to stay close to them. Once it targets them, you can kind of walk away, and when you hit the attack button, an energy beam shoots out in the right direction. There's three colors of them, one for each target, and it does a little bit of damage. It's, it's neat looking, even if it's not incredibly useful. Um, I won't worry about charge until I get it. So, hopefully nobody has any complaints about the fact that I uh, used the sub-tank there. Um, if you do, uh, that's honestly too bad. <laughs> I really don't want to try to redo that without the sub-tank. I tried doing it about five times without the sub-tank, and it just went very, very badly. Okay, so, since X has armor on top of the other stuff, this will change a little more as we power up. So, let's add this stuff in there. I keep talking about it. It's really not that impressive, and it's in the two games after it, but with some extra stats. I, I kind of like the fact that there's no text here. It's just, you just look and see what you have. But that's because it's much less complicated. Alright, there we go. We've got four things. It's all good. Uh, and we're a little over 18 minutes. This is longer than I expected because it's only one level. But that's fine. We're done. This has been Ezreal New Type, your willing puppet for torture. Signing off.